first open Firefox, go to our course companion website. GitHub. Three five day. So you go to uh, labs, lab zero file, and what we are going to complete today is about secret key exchange with RSA. Last Wednesday, I demonstrated in the class about RSA, and we learned the principle of asymmetrical cryptography and the implementation of RSA and also demonstrated RSA with, uh, with OpenSSL. So as usual, we would like to create a folder to hold all the contents we create. We are going to create today. So today is uh, lab 0 file. So create a folder called lab 0 file. Now let's uh, read the tasks of this uh, lab. In this lab, we are going to demonstrate the process symmetrical key exchange with public cipher using RSA for key exchange as we discussed uh, during the lecture. RSA is uh, suitable for key exchange. This key means shared key. The shared key of those C metric cipher, for example, AES 128 OMB for securing session communication. Before we can use AES to encrypt, decrypt our session communication, we need a, the sender and the receiver, they need to share a key. How could they share the key? They can use RSA to send the key to each other. As we discussed, it's a secure way. So the task is called symmetrical key exchange with public cipher here. And the scenario is like this. Suppose Alice wants to communicate with Bob confidentially. They follow the steps below. Here we have six uh, steps. So we need to complete these uh, steps. Then there is a review question. The review question asks you, is it uh, appropriate to secure communication only using RSA and explain your answer? As we discussed, RSA, its performance is not good. That's why we use it only for key distribution instead of secure communication directly. So the answer is, uh, no, it's not appropriate. The reason is, I say its performance is not as uh, good as the, the symmetric cipher, for example, AES. For any answer, we need uh, evidence. So we need to show I say its performance is not as good as AES. So we need how to, we need to compare their performance. And after we uh, complete this uh, scenario, we will come to this review question to see how to compare the performance of RSA with uh, AES. Okay, now we, in this scenario, we have two participants. One is Alice, the other one is Bob. You may collaborate this lab with your classmate. One as Alice, the other as Bob. Here I would like to act as both Alice and Bob. So I need to create two folders. One is Alice and the other one is Bob. So I act as both Alice and Bob and I would switch back and forth between these two participants. So I open Alice in a new tab. 
Here is Alice and open Bob in another new tab. Then I have uh, Alice and Bob here. I would like to place Alice at left uh, side and Bob at right side. So I have two photos. One is Alice, the other one is Bob. So the first step, and Alice generates a pair of public and a private keys. Second step two, for the second step, Alice sends her public key to Bob. Step three, Bob uses Alice's public key to encrypt the symmetrical ciphers specifics. Or well, it's just a text file to specify some information and send this uh, encrypted specific, specific text file to Alice after it's uh, encrypted into a uh, self text. And the symmetrical cipher the specifics includes the following pieces of information. The following symmetrical cipher they are going to use, for example, AES128 or LB. The second piece of information is uh, a symmetrical key. We call this is a this a session key, which means it's only used for this uh, session, communication session. After this communication session is going to be discarded, which should be uh, generated randomly. Then step four, Alice decrypts the self text with her private key. to get the symmetrical key or the session key. And the symmetrical cipher, the specifics, which means which uh, symmetrical cipher they are going to use to encrypt their communication session. Step five, Alice and Bob secure their following communication or session with the symmetrical key. They got the shared and the symmetrical cipher from the symmetrical cipher specifics. Here are the following confidential communication encrypted with their symmetrical cipher and their shared key. Alice downloads an image from the internet and uses it as a, the session content. She only encrypts the data portion of the image, then sends the encrypted image to Bob. Then Bob received, uh, after Bob received, he in received the encrypted image from Alice. So here is a typo. Here it means uh, the, not then. Bob received the encrypted uh, image from Alice. Then decrypts, decrypt this uh, one to get the original image or plain image, the unencrypted image. So this uh, Bob received that one. And decrypted to get the original image. Then Bob downloads another image should be different from Alice from the internet and use it as the session content, just as a reply. He only encrypts the data portion of the image, just like Alice has uh, did. Uh, then send the encrypted image to Alice. Alice received, sorry, here is again a typo, received the encrypted image from Alice, then decrypts, decrypt to get the plain image that Bob sent to her. And the session key is discarded after the session. So here you can see uh, Alice can initially uh, initiate the communication. Certainly Bob can also initiate the communication. Okay, now let's uh, go through these uh, steps one by one. 
here. Alice, step one, Alice generates a pair of public and private keys using OSA. So I would like to open a terminal window here. Here you see uh, it's uh, under Alice's folder. Well, how do we generate a pair of keys? Alice use open SSL. Gen or SA, right? Gen or SA is used to generate a pair of OSA private and uh, public key. Here you can see the usage, how to use this one. JOSA followed by these arguments and the number of bits. Here, whether Alice want to, uh, wants to encrypt her private key with this uh, symmetric cipher, for example, DSAS, Camellia, and so on and save the key to a file. As we practiced during the lecture, we can use it like this. Open SSL, gen or SA, specify the number of keys. Usually it's better use, uh, today is, you are suggested to use 2048 bits at least. So I'll uh, use this command to generate a pair of keys. You can see uh, the key is generated output here. But uh, she want to save it. How can she do that? She just only need to specify an output a file name. Quite Alice. Usually we would like to use a more lower case. Alice dot prior, which means the private key. So the private key is uh, saved. Here you can see it's uh, under Alice's uh, folder. Oops, uh, dash out. So uh, it's not show, show up here. Dash out, uh, Alice store private keys. So list the auto again. It looks like this uh, dash out. Uh, here we go up to see this dash out. Output the key to file, right? So why mine is still output in this terminal window. So I need to check the command I used. So as it says, the option need to be put just after the gen or SA. When you check the, the syntax here, you check the help syntax, those are argument options. The last one is the number of bits. That's why my, the key is not saved because I put those arguments at the end of this command. So as it, uh, as uh, The command help says we need to put this out here. Alice dot per two zero four eight. Okay, now you see this key is saved here. She can use a cat command to verify the key content. You can see in in this file the private key is saved. Begin or I say right, this is the command. She output the contents of that file. Begin or I say private key and end or I say private key. Now how does Alice generate her public key corresponding to this private key? We know she needs another command. Open SSL or SA. She can check how to use it here in this one. Open SSL or SA. Again, options here, input file, output file. Here, output file 
need a redirection, this uh, larger than symbol. Again, here is another redirection. Or you can use the, the dash in, dash out. But this dash out, this uh, out profile, right? Dash in, in profile. So she can use this uh, command. She can also view the contents of that uh, private key with this uh, uh, dash text as we demonstrate during the class. So now she want to just uh, generate the public key from this private key. You import Alice private and output Alice dot pub, the public key. So she, you see the public key is generated. She can check her public key with this cat command. Here you can, uh, when you check this contents, this pub is still a private key. So what a mistake I made here. Output a public key, we need to specify dash pub out. So because I didn't specify a dash pub out. So the output is just, again, is still the private key. This is a common mistake. Is either a common mistake. So we need to specify a dash pub out. Let's specify this dash pub out here. But in this command line, it says, uh, put those arguments here. Pub out. Okay, now let's check that public key again. This time you see end public key, begin public key. And also you see its contents is shorter, much shorter than that private key. So now Alice has her private public key and private key. Then Alice sends her public key to Bob. So in the real world, she can send her public key to Bob with email or smartphone, uh, for example, chat apps. So here, we just use a, a copy command to simulate this uh, procedure sending her public key to Bob. So just copy her public key to Bob's uh, folder. Here inside Bob's folder, you can see alice.pub. Now Alice has, uh, uh, Bob now has uh, Alice's public key. So he can go to this step, step three. Bob uses uh, Alice's public key to encrypt the symmetrical cipher specifics, which means Bob need to create a file and call this file, uh, just call it a session specific or, or we call it a symmetrical cipher specific. So we can name it as session, means communication session uh, specifics. Specifics.txt, and inside this file, Bob specify the symmetrical key they are going to uh, use. Hello, Alice. Uh, let's use. Let's use the. Following symmetrical cipher. Actually, we can make these statements more concise. Let's use the symmetrical cipher or we'll use the symmetrical cipher AES 128 OFB output feedback. To secure our following confidential c 
communication with the key. So Bob need to generate uh, generate uh, a key randomly. How could uh, he generate a key randomly? So we go to Bob's folder. Here it actually is inside Bob's folder. Open another terminal window. This terminal window is Bob's terminal terminal window. So Bob can generate a, a key for this AES cipher using open SSL random. And this random, we can see how to use it. Is used to generate a random number. These are pseudo random number. So in the real world, it's better to create truly a random numbers. Here you can see, uh, you can also save the key to a file or output in the terminal. You can also in encode your output with base64 or you use a hex. Let's uh, use a hex number. Open. SSL run dash x. Here are the options. Now there is a number, which means how many uh, bytes Bob want to generate. We know the key for AES is uh, here. Its length is 128 bits, which means it's 16 bytes, right? Let's type 16. Whether it's 16 bytes or 16 hex digits. So you can see there are 16 bytes, which means it's 32 hex digits. So now you see that number is used to specify the number of bytes. So Bob can use this uh, random number, copy this random number, to use it as the key. Control V paste here, Control S save it. So now Bob has a uh, uh, this uh, specific, right? Bob, control S save this one. Now we need to check the length of this uh, file. We know open XSL or OSA cannot encrypt uh, lots of information. Its key length is uh, two zero. For eight bits, so how many by bytes can it uh, encrypt? First, uh, we uh, we find the length. We we need a calculator to convert bits to uh, bytes, right? We can use uh, this uh, simple uh, com calculator. Two zero four eight divided by eight. So it's about 256 uh, bytes. But uh, there are some other information used. So usually uh, 200 bytes. You can check the document to see exactly how many bytes it can be used, be encrypted. So we need to find the length of this uh, session uh, specifics. Here its length is 140 bytes. So it's, I think it uh, could be uh, encrypted with uh, RSA. So now Bob encrypts this uh, specific with Alice's uh, public key using open SSL, right? We need another command, command called RSA util. RSA util, again, we can use dash help to see how to use it. So inside this uh, one, I say your tier options, we have input file, output file, input a key. And uh, we know it's a public key, so we need to specify a public. In. We want to do encrypt, right? Here, dash encrypt, encrypt with a uh, public key. So open SSL, or SA, your tier and uh, do encryption, encrypt, and with a key, in key, 
with Alice's public key, not uh, Bob's key. So Alice's public key and the file want to encrypt is this a session specific.txt. So the output file uh, session.txt.inc, which means encrypted. Uh, because we didn't specify that, that key is a public key, right? You, you will get uh, this error. This is another common error. Okay, it says unable to load private key. By default, it will use private key. So we need to specify that key is a public key. In key, we dash pub in, which means the key used is a public key for encryption. Okay, now I it's done, you can see it's generated here. So if uh, you check the contents, you will see they are encrypted. They cannot be read by human being. Okay, now, the symmetric key, uh, is, the key is here, the symmetric key is generated randomly, we just demonstrated all this stuff. Now, Bob need to, send the subtext to Alice, which means send this encrypted specific uh, file to Alice. So again, Bob, uh, we use this copy command to simulate this uh, procedure, Inc. copy to Alice's folder. Okay, this uh, specific file is sent to Alice, because only Alice can decrypt this uh, this message is so anyone so intercept this file they cannot read the contents because only Alice can decrypt this uh, content. So you see in Alice's folder this uh, encrypted file is copied here. So Alice only Alice can decrypt this uh, message. In this decrypt Alice must use her private key, so open SSL. This time, again, we use this OSA UTL, right? This time is a decrypt. And with a key, in key, with Alice's private key. Because by default, it's a private key, so you, we don't need to specify dash private. In. Actually, there's no dash private. In. And the file, this is a session specific text.inc and the output file is a decrypted file. So we change this inc to deck, which means it's decrypted. So you can see it's, it's decrypted here. And Alice can uh, now can read the contents with this cat command. Deck, you see the contents here. Hello, Alice. Yeah. Hello, Alice. Let's use symmetric cipher this one to in, to secure the confidential uh, the following confidential communication. Now, Bob successfully shared the symmetrical cipher specifics with Alice, so they can encrypt the following. Confidential communication with this symmetrical cipher, as we just discussed, this OSA is not good to encrypt lots of information. For example, a uh, big image. So let's download an Im image. Alice, come to step uh, four. Uh, so step four is uh, completed. Uh, step five. Step five, Alice and Bob secure their following. Uh, communication, a uh, back and forth. Alice sent an uh, encrypted image to Bob, then Bob, after decrypt, read that image, then Bob uh, encrypt an uh, image and send back to Alice and back. Alice decrypt that image. This time here, this uh, confidential communication session, they do not use OSA anymore. anymore. They only use this uh, shared uh, secret or this uh, AES. AS server, and you will know how to do this uh, part.
because you practice this part in last lab. So uh, I would like to demonstrate Alice's part as a review. The uh, Bob's part, you can do it by yourself. So for Alice, she can download an a image, for example, gift card. There are lots of gift cards. She can download a gift card. Let's see uh, which one you want to choose. For example, this a uh, happy moment. Let me save this image into Alice's folder. So we need to go to uh, today's lab, the file Alice, and save it as a gift card. Now, Alice has this uh, gift card. She need to convert the image format to 24-bit BMP first, right? So Alice can Alice need to uh, run the convert command. Input that uh, gift called a PNG to type to color gift card dot BMP. So it's converted. She can verify this format with this file command. File gift card dot BMP. You can see this gift card dot BMP is a PC bitmap. Here 24 bits and the size here, width and height. If you check the length, you can see uh, its length BMP. This length is 176 kilobytes. This cannot be encrypted with RSA. We can verify with our open SSL, RSA UTR, encrypt, right? Encrypt with the key, in key, pop key is used for encrypt, ls.pop, and then we need to say this is pop in. And the input file, this is gift card dot BMP. And then we output, let's say gift card dot BMP dot dot ink. You will see errors. Here you see the errors. Padding at here. This part, data too large for key size. So it can cannot used to encrypt large amount of data with the RSA. So that's why they need to AES and also AES uh, works faster, much, much faster than RSA. So she can use uh, the AES cipher to encrypt this image, but before that, as the requirement, she only encrypt the data part of this image, right? So she need to uh, do these uh, conversions. First, head to extract the header. Let's see, 54, gift card dot BMP, output the header. And we can put this folder here. So you can see the output. The files generated following each command. 
So generate the header, see the header generated. Then extract the tail, let's see plus 45. Gift card dot BMP dash data, the data part. So you see that we have head health data. Then she need to encrypt the data with uh, open SSL. Open SSL, Inc encrypt, but not encrypt. This will use a symmetric cipher. We will always learn that this is a misnomer. So she need to specify the cipher she use. AES just specified in the session specifics one to eight OFB right with this one and for encryption dash E and with a key dash K that key is inside the specific session specifics so she opened it in just a copy this one, copy that key, paste here, right? And uh, as a key, she also need to specify, for example, whether she needs sort or whether need padding. We know or will be no padding is required, so. Sort is better to just use use sort by default. So she only need to specify so many uh, parameters. Then the file need to encrypt. To be encrypt is that the data, and the output file, the data dot encrypt, which means encrypted. And she can also use a dash p to see uh, the key and the sort. Of the OMB, she still need to specify uh, initial vector. Here you say I will unspecified. So which means that uh, that specific is not complete yet. Uh, the initial vector still need to be specified. So which means Bob didn't specify this. Uh, initial vector. So Bob also need to specify this initial vector. And I we that initial vector, what's that initial vector? Bob again need to generate it uh, randomly with uh, this open SSL or say uh, render dash hex, we know this initial vector is also 16 bytes. So here is a mistake. So in your lab, you need to add this initial vector in that first step. When Bob specify these specifics, And also the file size, I think it's good. You can check the size. It's only two or five bytes, so it should be good. And now this time, so Alice has all the information she need. So you need to repeat those steps because uh, that uh, initial vector is not uh, added inside. So in that first step, you need to put that initial vector. So she also need to specify this initial vector. Is this one? Now this time, she should be able to encrypt. You see it's encrypted. A uh, random sort is generated with a two key the two keys are derived from the provided key and the sort. 
this uh, initial vector is the supplied initial vector. So now she has this encrypted data and this header. She can create an encrypted bit image. So use a cat header data dot anchor to generate this image. So she can call this a uh, encrypted image. How could we give it a good name? Again, we, we give it a good name called giftcard.inc.bmp. Why we need to put BMP at the end? Because in Windows, usually they need this BMP to identify the file type. Right? So Alice can see that the image is, uh, is encrypted as you have done in last lab. It looks like this, so no one can read it. Now Alice send this image to Bob. We simulate that procedure with just copy command, give code.inc.bmp to Bob's folder. So now Bob received this image. So Bob need to extract the header and, uh, and the data, then decrypt the data part and concatenate the he header with the decrypted data to get the image. So Bob, what Bob need to do? First, Bob need to extract the header, right? That is the gravity for gibcot.inc.bmp to get the header. Oops, not cat, sorry. So he needed this head command. So to get the header, then extract, use tail to extract to extract the data port, data.inker, which means those data are encrypted. So now Bob has both the header and the data. Because Bob know the specifics used for the encryption, right? Because Bob specify those specifics. So Bob can use open SSL, uh, anchor, AS128, yes. OFB and for decryption this time and uh, supplier key. Bob know all the stuff because Bob specify this this stuff the session specifics of txt. So Bob open it with this uh, key and uh, that initial vector. I will. Now, you wonder how about the sort? How about the sort? As we discussed during the lecture, the sort is a container inside the encrypt encrypted file, right? So we don't need to specify the sort. The input file is that data dot inc. And the output file is a decrypted data, so just to say data. So Bob can decrypt this data. And you see data is, is there. Now Bob need to concatenate, get the header and the data together to get this gift card. Gift card dot let's say called that dot BMP, the decrypt image. So now Bob see what uh, Iris sent to, to him. So that's it. Now you need to complete the next two parts. Bob downloads the image and uh, Encrypt, then send the encrypted image to Alice and Alice decrypt to show the plain image, just as I demonstrated here. So this is a, the lab part. Then we left this uh, review question part.
So the real quick, hello everyone. Uh, let's continue our lab. So the next step is we are going to answer this question. Performance comparison. We wanted to answer this first question, right? The answer is, it's not appropriate to a secure communication only with RSA. The reason is RSA its performance is not good. And now let's see, let's show the evidence. So how could we do that? Go to our lab zero file, this folder. We open a terminal window. Again, I would like to use that uh, terminator. So copy this stuff. Open a terminator here. CD into lab zero file. Because I want to compare them, right? One is a symmetric cipher, the other one is asymmetric cipher. So I would like to split the vertically. So the left side, I use to demonstrate the performance of RSA. That is a command in, in uh, OpenSSL called speed. OpenSSL, speed. Then you can use this one to test the speed of RSA and uh, AES. We can see the help. How do we use to? Uh, here it says uh, uh, available values of this stuff. AES, DES, and so And there are also uh, did you see an RSA here? You didn't see an RSA, right? Are you here, here RSA. So if we don't specify the number of bits, it will try all those uh, for us. So we can use open SSL speed or SA. Now you see the measure the performance of RSA doing 512 bits private RSA for 10 seconds. On the right side, we can do open SSL speed to test the AES at the same time, AES. So you can see that doing this uh, AES CPC was three seconds on 16 size blocks and so on. We just wait to see a final report. This is a side-by-side -side comparison of the performance between RSA and AES. Here, AES is done. That is a summary. How could we explain this summary? Here, for this uh, RSA, we also have a summary. How many signs per second, how many verified per second, sign of verification, the number of bits, I say, how do we explain that stuff? Oops, it does not automatically edit. So in your lab, it's better make this wider, then you can see clearly the table, see a, see a clear table here, AS, uh, that K is a, uh, Longer back from this last number. How do we explain these numbers? You can check here on our lab references. How can I interpret OpenSSL speed output? So we can open this one. Here, how do we explain this stuff? You can read this stuff by yourself. 
So this uh, lab, lab zero five. 